Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So we have solar panels up now and running and working. So uh, it's been a very long morning. It is about one in the afternoon now. We just got done. We started at about seven this morning. The first thing we had to do is fix the frame. Uh, you guys were right. I'll be the first to admit it. I will eat crow or whatever you need me to eat. Um, it was a freaking mess. And it was the post. And I had put the post in. So it's all on me, 100% on me. Um, I, Like I said before, I'm not a construction guy. So uh, I had help. So what we did was we had to, in the back side here, we had to redig out these two and redo them all over again square things up correctly so now instead of four posts in the back there's only the three that should be um, we only have the two posts in the center for right now there will be a third post on the far side once we move the other panels okay but for right now we only have one more panel in the, in the front um, underneath here and uh, let's see if i can explain this to you real quick the way we have this set up is you have this is your negative is hooked to your positive okay then the other negative comes in here gets hooked in back into the house okay same thing with this one okay those are your ones your two leads that are getting tied into the wires that go back into the battery room and then positive to negative on that one and then one of the negative leads and one of the positive leads same thing tied in together with this so we have two panels tied together and then the other two panels are tied together okay so what's going to happen is once we add the other two panels one of the panels will be tied in with the first two the other panel will be tied in with the other two so we didn't want to put four all together at once because it would be way too much going into the one you know for one run so with three panels and three panels it'll be perfect so because we only have four panels we did two and two for now okay so that's how we did that and I'll take inside the battery room and I'll show you that now so somebody had asked me how are you going to make sure the panels don't blow out now the way that they're setting in here we have uh, one by sixes um, on the bottoms of each side now, actually, I can take it back underneath and I can show you that you can see that there is that lip that's tied in underneath here and the uh, panel, solar panels sit right in there on both sides, okay? And then what I did is I take another one on the top and just on the metal part of the lip, it'll sit, so it's sitting on all three panels on both sides and that's how it's making sure that those panels don't blow up. It sits in here on, on this uh, four, uh, two by four, nice and, um, that's how it lays down. It's on the uh, one by six, and then the other ones are on top, okay? What we did with this one, same type of thing except on top for right now because we don't have the other ones in there. We just put a couple of small blocks in and that's going to hold those panels in place and it's not compromising any of the panel itself at all, okay? And even like with these ones, it's just, if you see that, it's just on that lip just to make sure that that's holding that panel down and it's not compromising the panel at all, okay? So now what we're going to do is I'll take you into the battery room and I will show you that. So everything's hooked together. It all feeds into the wires that are underground. And I got to tell you, I'm freaking excited. All right, so we're going to come in here. And I'm going to turn this on. And hopefully you guys will be able to see um, right at the moment okay so we have the first midnight classic is over here the second midnight classic is over here okay now we just turned everything back on the batteries are already up to 27.6 in a very very short time I know you can't see this but I'm gonna explain it to you um, we're bringing in 950 watts off the new panels. It's only a thousand watts over there guys So we're getting a lot of a lot of stuff coming in off of them. Okay um, And already we're bringing in 0.3 already on that the uh, Amps coming in is 29 amps over on this one 
in 50 volts okay now the old one um, and then we just had a cloud too so everything just went down but we were bringing in 800 before we got 80 volts coming in on this side um, and then the amperage is actually going down now because of the fact that we went into the shade but uh, you know it's uh, now it's going back up it's about 20 22 23 for amps but uh, so that's what happened so let me explain a little bit of what we did here today okay so we put in the new Midnight Classic. So now I have two Midnight Classics. And the way that it works is six of the panels are on this Midnight Classic, okay? Four of the panels are on this Midnight Classic. I will be adding two more panels onto this one. Okay, so then the way that we do it is we have the bus bar inside of here. So we grounded from in here ran the ground into the ground bar, the bus bar inside there, and then that all goes outside and that's buried way deep into the ground, okay? So then what we do is you have your, your positive and your negative coming in, okay? So they all, everything gets tied in together in here and then the wires come back out and they get put out here, okay? So you have your Basically what we did is exactly the way we did this one. We did this, this one the same way and it's all tied together in here. And I'm not going to pull you this off to show you because it's a complete pain in the butt right now and I don't have a free hand. But basically what's happening is the way that it works is the positive here is fed into the main positive which is here. Okay, That feeds right into your batteries. Your negatives are coming in and they're into your negative line. So you have all those tied together inside this box here. And we have the Whizbang Juniors also in here. Now the breakers, okay. These front two breakers are for... So I hope you guys can... Let me turn this so you can see this. These front two breakers here, okay, are for this Midnight Classic. These two breakers here are for the old Midnight Classic. And then this is the main breaker. So if when we were working on stuff, what we did is we killed everything. All the power, we killed all the power. Now, there was still battery power in the batteries, so we just had to be really careful, especially with this bad boy here, because that's, that's, that's the one that's going to kill you. But uh, So that's what we did. And then, like I said, everything feeds into there. It feeds into the batteries. And then from your batteries, which we have uh, 12... L16E batteries, okay, they're Trojans, and uh, they're good batteries, uh, I've really been pleased with them, and now, like I said, with more power coming in, I can't, I'm, I'm just so ecstatic, you guys have no idea. Okay, the sun's back out, so now we got 800 watts coming in from this one, it was 830 a moment ago, and like I said, this one's bringing in 900, so just the, the placing of the panels is making a huge difference. This has two more panels on it, and we're getting a lot less power. And that's why i got to build another rack as soon as possible to, uh, to get the other panels up higher and, uh, and get things squared away so we're bringing in more juice. And I knew that was part of the problem. So that's just a matter of just correcting everything outside and, and uh, building another rack. But believe me, if I build the rack the next time, I'm going to have somebody here with me that truly knows what they're doing. Okay. So anyway, so then the batteries... All the power is going into the batteries. From the batteries, it goes into the Ames inverter. And the, and the inverter turns it from DC power to AC power. That runs into the house. And then, boom, we have, we have power in the house. So that's how our system is set up. Um, I hope this is a good explanation. I know, like I said, if, if I pulled this off, you could see where everything... Well, actually, I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Hold on. guys I want to show you this okay okay so what happens is these wires here are coming these two wires here are coming in and they get tied right in here okay then this red wire is from underneath 
it comes around and it's tied into this bad boy here. You, there's your main hot source right there, okay? Then you're having your other wire, your ground wire is going to come in and that got tied in up here, okay? That's all your grounds up in this spot right here. I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. And so um, the Whizbang Junior is hooked up to the one Midnight Classic. I don't know if I can hook it up to both or not. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll, I'm not worried about that right now. But uh, so that's how it all that's how it all gets wired in. I mean, you have your wires here, okay, coming in. So you got your one wire coming in here. Your other wire comes right in, and it gets fed in underneath of these ones, okay. And so that's how you're getting your power in. And then for the other side, that one is, so that, that, this wire here is your positive coming into your two breakers. Then these two wires are tied in here, okay? And then you have your red wire, which is the one that's coming up here, that's tied into your main source here, which is gonna feed all that power into these batteries. So that's how that works. Um, and then you can see we got the ground wire coming in and into the bus bar. So that's all, everything is grounded like it should be. It's all safe. And uh, so that's how, that got, that's how we did it. Um, it's, uh, it's really not that hard. Um, you basically read your instructions and it'll show you exactly how to do everything. I mean, so since the time we've been sitting here, I've already brought in another 0.1 of kilowatt hours. The batteries are now up to 27.9, okay? A second here, I just wanna tighten this down. And that's how we got it, guys. I mean, we got uh, two Midnight Classics. 10 solar panels going now. We got 2,500 watts of solar. And uh, it is already, I can see it's making a freaking huge difference. We're already up to 28. We're going to be in flow charge probably within the next 15 minutes, I'll bet you. And 28.6 will, uh, or, or absorption charge. 28.6 will put us into uh, absorption. And we're freaking rocking in some really, really nice power. So I am freaking ecstatic. Um, it is... It's been a, a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. The framing was horrible. I did a horrible job on the post. Um, we corrected it today because we had to make sure everything was square so that it all went in there right. And uh, so we had to break it all down, basically, and uh, redo pretty much everything. So, I mean, we only had to move two posts, and uh, so that wasn't so, too bad. And uh, we just rearranged some stuff, and uh, we got it squared away. But, like I said, that's on me, guys. I mean, it's 100% on me, and I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. And uh, everybody that said that I did a crappy job on, uh, for, you know, framing, you are 100% right. So, hey, what are you going to do? So we had to redo it. You live and you learn. Um, when we build the next frames for the next six panels there, uh, I will make sure that it's done in a better way. I really will because I just, that was a nightmare. But anyway, so that's what's going on. We are now at 2,500 watts of solar. Um, it's fantastic. And we are cranking in some nice power, which I'm, you have, you have no idea. The kids will be happy too. <laughs> They'll be real happy. But uh, yeah, so there we go. So we have more solar up now. Um, 10 solar panels all together. And if you guys wanted to know, um, I just want to let you know, the panels that I got, and they're all from the same company, they are all from Renogy, R-E-N-O-G-Y, okay? They're 250-watt panels, okay? So, oh, no, these are 255s. Oh, no kidding. Okay, so actually I got more than I thought then. So these are 255-watt panels. And so we actually have 20 more watts than I thought. So now we have 2,520. Cool. All right, so um, those are 255-watt panels. These ones are 250 watt panels, all same company. Um, it's the company I use, I like using them. I buy all the connectors. When you, when you get your solar and stuff, guys, 
you have to buy these pieces here. They come separately. Um, there's these connectors. These connectors are on there already, but then you have to buy extra ones to tie everything in. And uh, it's just, you know, like I said, if, if you guys are going to go with solar, okay, here's, here's my advice to anybody that's going to solar, okay? If you decide you're going to go, yeah, I'm going to go off-grid solar, talk to somebody that's already doing it, that knows the different stuff you need. And my suggestion, and I'm going to tell you guys, I mean, yeah, I'm on solar and, and we're doing this and stuff like that. But the guy to talk to is Bill from Bill and Rosa Off-Grid. That dude, he helped me out a lot when I got started. Talked to me about, you know, going from a 12-volt to a 24-volt system. Made all the difference in the world. Very, very smart man, and he will help anybody. He's a good man, okay? So I'm going to give him a shout-out, too. Go over and check out their channel. Um, Bill and Rosa Off-Grid. He, he's, he's very, very good. Um, he's, a very, he's a gentleman, and uh, he's very knowledgeable. They've been off-grid for, I think, five years. Um, I think something like that. I know they've been off a lot longer than I have. And uh, so I talked to him a lot when I got going with this. And, uh, you know, he helped me out a lot. So, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm real happy. I'm real pleased with where we're at. And uh, we'll just keep trying to add on more panels. And, and then at some point, we'll be at the point where we need to add more batteries. Um, I don't know what it's going to entail with adding these panels, how we're going to do. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. If we're in float all day long, then it's time to add more batteries, okay? But uh, for right now, I'm just going to keep an eye on things. And I am, God, I can't even tell you how ecstatically excited I am. Anyway, so let me get off here because this video is really, really long now. Um, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love, guys. Tell them every day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. And remember, guys, STD, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Even if you screw up like I screwed up, okay? You, you fix it, you adjust it, you make it work, okay? Um, you know, I, I was really, really bummed, and I knew I had screwed up, and it really bothered me. I'll be honest with you, it really bothered me. I didn't like it. So um, I just wanted to say, you know, like I said, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the comments. Um, I do listen to advice. I really do. And I knew I had to redo things, and so that's what we did. We got things squared away, and everything is good now. And we are rocking. We are rocking. Okay, so have a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now.